northern Alberta, and it is spectacular. Come join us as we scale a few small cliffs in search of some amazing waterfalls and picnic beside a lake of spectacular color. Stay tuned. It's Marty from Down the Rabbit Hole Travel and we are going on our first road trip adventure of the summer. Well, I'm stuck in my driveway right now because just as we were backing out, both kids decided they had to go to the washroom but I guess it's better now than an hour into the drive when there's nowhere to go. We're heading out to the Nordig area in Alberta, which is kind of in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains because there are two different waterfalls we wanna check out. And I wanna show you the beautiful Abraham Lake in the summertime. That's the same lake we visited that had all those frozen bubbles. Nordig is the name of a small town southwest of Edmonton, but the entire region is also nicknamed Nordig. It is well known for awesome backcountry hiking, great camping and fishing, and tons of beautiful Alberta landscapes. The area around Nordig is actually kind of infamous for its wild horses, and every time we come out here, we always spot some along the side of the road, and there are some right there. If you're trying to get to Crescent Falls using your GPS or Siri or Google Maps or whatever, you're gonna get directed to a place that's about five and a half kilometers down the road, and you'll see a sign that says no Crescent Falls access, which is a little frustrating. So let me simplify things for you. You're actually gonna be looking for the Bighorn Service and Gas Station, which is right here uh, on Highway 11. And then you're gonna take the turn onto Township Road 39-4A. That is the road you use to get to Crescent Falls. After going down this gravel road for a few kilometers on really bumpy washboard gravel, we've made it to a parking lot with the sign that says Lookout. Wow, that's impressive. Holy cow. There's a note down there. Yeah, see that yellow From the lookout, it is only two and a half kilometers to the actual falls, but the slow drive and bumpy road made it seem like a little more. All right, we have made it to Crescent Falls. Uh, the parking lot is full. We're parked on the side of the road. They ask us not to park on the side of the road, but there's nothing else that I can do. And we're gonna hike down and check out the falls, which we can hear right now. We had seen people in the lower bowl of the falls, and I'd read you could descend the cliffs to check it out. But there were many warnings, and it was obvious the park did not want to be liable for any accidents. 
it is definitely an at-your-own-risk type situation. We decided to check it out for ourselves. So here is the path that takes you down to the lower part of the falls. It's very well traveled, um, pretty worn. It looks not too dangerous. We're just a little bit close to the cliffs, so we're taking it low and slow and we're holding hands and we're not rushing and we'll see how we do. We made it down the hill. We're gonna go check out the waterfall from below. down to the bottom of Crescent Falls and it is incredible. It is definitely worth the steep hike. Just be really careful on the trail, go slow and watch your step, but it is totally worth the view. Here we go, back up the very, very steep hill. The falls are a quick walk to the left of the parking lot, while a stream, a fun bridge, and a group picnic and playground area are to the right. We debated eating lunch at Crescent Falls, but ultimately decided to head to Abraham Lake for our family picnic. So over the winter, the kids and I came to a place called Abraham Lake to check out the frozen methane bubbles that were trapped in the ice. Behind me is the exact same lake. This is the summer view. The color of Abraham Lake in the summer is like this gray icy blue. It's so gorgeous. Abraham Lake would be the perfect place to stop and have a picnic. So that's what we're doing, right guys? We had our lunch, did a little exploring, made friends with a chipmunk, and then headed on our way to visit Siffler Falls, which I'll feature in my next video. So click that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and ring the bell to get notified when it's uploaded. If you enjoyed this video, 
please feel free to like it and share it out on your social media to help my channel grow. Happy travels, everyone.